Hey, Erica here. Today I'm going to share with you a travel packing list tutorial in Canva. Me, Bella, and my mom are going to Cuba and Key West in three or four days? I can't remember. I've lost count now. But look. And I wanted to make a really cute packing list. I had never made one before and I figured why not use Canva? I use it for quite a few other things. Look, this weekend we're going to Cuba. I wanted to share it with you. Enjoy! So, once you're in Canva, you can choose U.S. Letter Document, or you can actually go to Find Templates. Oops, I clicked Photoshop by accident. <laughs> so this is a mock-up of what it looks like, and I made a cute little collage for Instagram. Anyways, so you go to Find Templates and type in Packing List. And up come quite a few templates. Now, my first packing list that I made was really, really simple. And I realized I just cannot use it. It was just too simple. It looked just like this, my travel and style list. Excuse me, I'm about to hurt. Okay. So I guess I can show y'all what that one looked like. But yeah, they have plenty of packing lists for you to choose from. I made a white version with a white background and a version with a pink background. And so this is the first one I made. Um, it just says passport and ticket, toiletries, dresses. Very general. It was not going to meet my needs. <laughs> I realized that really quickly. Even though I made it. You know, I made it thinking, oh, it's quick and easy. But packing with a little one, you know. I just couldn't use this. It just didn't have enough. Like, I was going to leave some stuff behind. This was too general. I made this one yesterday. Um, I chose the template, changed a few of the... You can just click on the text and change it like that. And then the picture in the background. Clicked in the background. Oh, nope. Don't want to pin it. <laughs> but just click in the background and go to uploads. And you can switch out the background of the pictures. Um... So that's one way you could do it. Or if you want a more intricate list, like the one in the example. Um, oh, don't want to go there. <laughs> you can, you know, click on U.S. document, U.S. letter, I should say. Go to elements, shapes. And then, you know, click a square make it as small as you want it, and then you're gonna copy that. Then for your different items, you're just gonna type in whatever you wanna call it and copy those until you're ready to make the actual list. You, know, you can have some placeholders there. Or if you're the type of list maker that you wanna write in everything, um, you just grab a box and make the transparency you know, lighter so that you can actually see your writing on top of it. Um, you can change the color to whatever you want, and, you know, you're good to go. Let's see what the transparency was on this one. 73, so I'll change this one back to 73. And the cool thing about Canva is everything's editable. But it was something I would have never thought, you know, a year ago, that, oh, I can make a packing list in Canva. So, yeah, you just repeat until you're completely done. Just to show you all on camera really quick. Copy it. Now it's kind of finicky, and that's why I didn't want to make such a super long tutorial. Um, whenever you try to copy the square, if the text is right there, you have to like move the text. And for each section, I think I have six items. So I'm just going to duplicate this six times for each one. And I think I might speed this up. And once you've got six squares, if you press shift and keep selecting, it, I don't know why it skipped that one. And then press copy, uh, group, and then copy. Most of the squares did show up, and I can do that like that. It's a trick I learned earlier today. Because <laughs> I was sitting there forever making all the little squares. Saves so much time. Even though I did miss some squares, you know. Doing those two little squares 
doesn't take that long. Um, okay. And you can ungroup it if you want. So our placeholders, we have all of our little squares. Now to make it really, you know, you're unique to your style. <laughs> you can change the font to whatever you want. I'm looking for a script font. Kind of cute. Let's see. This one is not on free Canva. Just a disclaimer. I did upload this font. And you can change the background. You can have a lot of fun with this. So the background. You don't just want a white background. Well, that makes it all steer. Okay. Or, you know, you might like blue. I like got a mint blue. Oh, that's cute. And then you can change. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. So yeah, I can change the background, change all the colors until you're happy with it. My computer has frozen now for whatever reason. But yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, and if you go to my blog, there's going to be a free template on there as well. I'll leave a link below. Bye!